So about a week ago, I created a video on my YouTube channel. It's called Zero to 500 Clients, and it's a complete guide on starting a business from scratch and getting it to where you're able to train 500 clients or more. And I got some interesting feedback in that video. A lot of coaches texted me and they told me, they said, Ben, there's no way I could train 500 kids. Uh, there's no way I could have that many clients in my area. And I got some feedback that was very negative. And what I did is I, I sent them to an Instagram page of, of someone I know that has over 600 clients. And then they shut up real quick, right? And one of the reasons why coaches don't think that they could do that, it's because of something that I talk about in this video, all right? So pay close attention to what I talk about because today's video, it might sound contradictory with having a lot of clients. I'm telling you to stop working on the weekends. And I'll tell you why you should stop working on the weekends and how that's going to connect with having more clients. Now, let me take you back to uh, around four and a half years ago. So four and a half years ago, I was still working a lot on the weekends. Saturdays and Sundays were packed. A lot of clients told me, they were like, well, we can't train during the week. We have this, this, and this going on. And so I thought, well, you know, even though I'd had a business for a long time at that point, I was still like, well, I'm not gonna give up Saturdays and Sundays. Those are my prime days of training. And because people are telling me that they can't train with me uh, during the week, I'm going to have to do it on the weekends. And I kept telling myself, well, I have to do this on the weekends if I'm going to continue with them. And, I, and I'd rather them continue my program and do something on the weekend than do it during the week and not be able to train them. And that, that's how I was thinking. I was thinking about you know, servicing the client and not looking after my schedule. And I thought that was the right thing to do. And that, in my mind, that was the right thing to do until I got married. And when I got married, I realized, wait a second, this is my business. If this is my business, I should be dictating when my sessions are. And if I don't want to work on the weekend anymore, I don't have to work on the weekend. And I, I don't know if it took me getting married to figure that out because I, I think once I got married, I got tighter with my schedule and I started to really understand where I want to put my time time in. And it was very strange how this happened. But right when I got married, I started to think, well, if I'm working all the time on the weekend, then I'm not really going to have a life with my wife. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just be you know, waking up on Saturday, going out to the fields, doing my sessions, coming home, just being dead tired. And it's almost like my weekend is not a weekend at all because it was just being spent training all the time. And this is a very common problem I see with coaches. Coaches that do it part-time, this is what they're experiencing. Coaching that do it, coaches that do it full-time, they're experiencing this too. Because they don't think there's enough time during the week to fulfill their sessions after school, right? And once I got married though, again, I started to look at things in a different lens and I realized this is not gonna work for me. And you know what the funny thing is, I went to all my clients and I, and I just straight up told them, I said, hey, in 30 days from now, all of the sessions on the weekend will not be offered anymore. And the best part about it is I remember I had two clients during that time that were really hard to deal with. Only two out of, out of I mean, there were a lot. <clears throat> and uh, they, they were the only ones who were like, yeah, we can't do this during the week. Everybody else made it work. They all made it work. They, they were like, yeah, you know, if you can't do it on the weekends, we want to stay in the program and, and we're willing to go during the week. And then at that point, it was about me finding set days and times during the week that I knew that would work for me and my schedule and they would work for my clients. And that just came down to communication. And once I dialed that in, it was hilarious. My business started to grow during that time when I stopped working on the weekends because now my time was more efficient. It was way more efficient. And then I ended up dialing that even more 
um, over the last couple of years where that just became a two day per week type of thing. All right. And that's because I leveraged group training. All right. I wasn't stuck doing one on one sessions. Like if if that was the case, I would still be working on the weekends. Like I would have to because I have to work more hours to make more income with group training. It's the, the complete opposite. All right. And once I moved everything to the week, not only was my my schedule more efficient, but now I had a life on the weekends. I, I, w- I was able to reset, recharge. I was able to go do things without having to think about doing sessions that day. That has been awesome. But I did not realize at the beginning of my business, I always thought I had to cater to my clients' schedules. And if you're watching this video, I want you to know something really important. In this business, you would think it's best to cater to your client's schedules. And I'm telling you right now, after after going through this, it is the worst thing that you can do. Because when you do that, you're always on call with clients. They will determine when they see you. And that is not a business because they can tell you if they're going to come there to to train with you or they're going to tell you that they're not going to be there. They're going to try to determine what schedule you have. And it is really, really hard to do that. And I don't think I really truly understood that until I stopped working on the weekends. And once I stopped working on the weekends, I had complete control of my schedule. I determined when we had our uh, sessions. And if someone couldn't make it, if they weren't a good fit <clears throat> for our program, then I just told them we're not accepting them, right? I wasn't going to bend my schedule once it was concrete. So if you're watching this and you're, you're feeling either overworked or you feel like your, ske- your schedule is dictated by your clients, you have to change that. And if you don't change that, then it's never going to change. And, and how you feel right now is never going to change because it's only going to get worse. Because as you get more clients, you're going to then have to be on more people's schedules. And again, I I don't consider this a business until that piece is solved. And even though we, at that point, we had already trained thousands of kids in our program. It took me like around eight years to figure this out. And once I did, I was like, oh my gosh, I actually have, this is not just a business, but this is a business that revolves around my lifestyle now which is the, I know that's the ultimate thing a lot of coaches want and they want to get there. But because it's your business, you get to determine when you run your sessions. And that is 1000% up to you. That is not up to your clients. And I want that to be very clear. Now, how does that tie in with the video that I made about going from zero to 500 clients? It's this. I see so many different business models that get thrown at me when I am, you know, talking to coaches during the week. I see coaches that do everything in one-on-one training and they have a staff of coaches that run all the sessions. I see guys that only run camp businesses and they just do camps like throughout the year and they might be traveling throughout the U.S. to do that. I see some people that only do group training. They specialize in group training. They have, they have like groups of like six to 10 kids They have coaches that are assigned to each group. (coughs) And I also see people that do what I used to do, where they just grind it out every week and they don't hire anyone. And it's a one man business. And they have a lot of kids. I talked with a guy the other day, he has uh, 150 clients and he he is solely running it by himself, by himself. And I've seen people who have more clients than that by themselves. They, they, are, they don't want to hire anyone. And that's cool. If that's what he wants to do. And he wants to handle that many kids. That's, that's cool. Right? So I've seen, I've seen everything. And what I see, though, is the coaches that are the most successful, the ones who have the best systems and the ones who streamline everything, the ones who can handle 500 clients, it's not just because they have staff. It's because they have the scheduling dialed in to a T. And it's because they offer certain hours throughout the week and they don't do things on the weekend is why they're able to handle that many clients. And this is how this ties into that that video that I've posted, um, you know, zero to 500 clients. It's because the scheduling is dialed in. I will tell you, 
those coaches that I'm talking about, I could I could ask them. I could say, hey, you know, do you guys have anything offered on Saturday, the week of Christmas? And if, if whenever I say the word Saturday, they'll always say no. Or Sunday, they'll always say no. Some of these guys take off on Fridays too. They don't have anything offered on Fridays. They do they do things Monday through Thursday and into the system. And that is because they decided the same thing I decided, which is no, this is my business. I'm going to operate off of the hours I want to offer. And if I'm not doing that, it's not my business anymore. It's my client's business. So I hope you can see the big difference there. And can you have a really successful business if it's offered just during the week? The answer is yes. And maybe right now your your job doesn't allow you to do that where you're working till five or six and you don't have the time to start at 3.30 or 4.00. <coughs> Right? Maybe you don't have the time yet, but maybe you can build into that time and, and actually do that. And maybe right now you're, you're doing everything on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, I, I, would, I would challenge you if you're doing everything on Saturdays and Sundays, well, why can't, why can't we switch that to the week? Unless you just love working on the weekends, all right? And, and I will tell you, I know a lot of coaches that love working on the weekends, but couple years down the road or down the line, they're thinking, man, I don't really like work on the weekends anymore. And everybody always gets burned out working on the weekends at some point. So it's better just to make that change before that happens. And it really is. And if I had to go back and teach myself one thing when I started my business, I mean, there's multiple things that I would have taught myself, but one of the key things is scheduling and, and having a set schedule during the week so you can have a life on the weekends. And when you do that, you actually come back to the week recharged, refocused, you have more energy, you have like you you are a better coach when you have more energy. All right? And the clients can feel that. That's why I also would have done group training earlier on than I did. All right? I hope this helps. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say the 0 to 500 clients, just go to my YouTube channel and find it. Right, it's really easy to find. It's one of my my recent uploads that I have, I have, and that's going to be a very popular video. And I show you a lot of skills that you need to learn to get to that level. All right, because you have to have skills. You can't just show up and coach and expect to have a successful business. You have to learn a lot of skills, and I teach a lot of those skills, and I show you some things that you should be focusing on in that video. And I can tell you that video will help you a lot. All right. That's it for today's video. I hope this helps you stop working on the weekends and start having more control with your scheduling and your business. That's it. Catch you later.